The Fly is a 1922 short story by Catherine Mansfield. Mr. Woodfield, an old and rather infirm gentleman, is talking to his friend, referred to only as the boss. The boss is a well-to-do man who is still going strong. Despite being five years older than Woodfield, the boss enjoys showing off his redecorated office to him and points out its new furniture and electric heating. There is an aged picture of a young man, whom we learn is the boss's deceased son, sitting above a table. But it is not referred to by the boss. Woodfield wants to tell the boss something, but is struggling to remember what it is. When the boss offers him some fine whiskey, after drinking, his memory is refreshed and Woodfield talks about a recent visit that his two daughters made to his son's grave, saying that they had come across the boss's son's grave as well. We now come to know that the boss's son had died in the war six years ago, a loss that affected the boss heavily, after Woodfield leaves. The boss sits down at his table to inform his clerk that he does not want to be disturbed. He is extremely perturbed at the sudden reference to his dead son and expects to weep but is surprised to find that he can't. He looks at his son's photo, and thinks it bears little resemblance to his son. As he looks stern in the photo, whereas the boss remembers him to be bright and friendly, the boss then notices a fly struggling to get out of the ink pot on his desk. The boss helps it out of the ink pot and observes how it dries itself. When the fly is dry and safe, the boss drops a blob of ink onto it. He admires the fly's courage and drops another dollop of ink. He watches the fly dry itself again, although with less vigor than the first time. By the third drop, the fly has been severely weakened, and dies. The boss throws the dead fly, along with the blotting paper that was underneath it for his cruel game, into the waste paper basket. He asks his clerk for fresh blotting paper. The boss suddenly feels a wretchedness that frightens him and finds himself bereft. He tries to remember what he had been thinking about before noticing the fly, but cannot recall his grieving for his son. Major themes. The fly has had many, varied, critical analyzes, with much attention has been paid to the actions of the story's central character, the bosses. The story is usually read as an indictment of the brutal horror of World War I. The boss is said to be representative of the older generation of 1914, that inadvertently sent their sons to slaughter in a cruel war. The inevitability of death and man's unwillingness to accept this truth are also significant themes. End of the summary. Thank you.